ever since old man Coyote came to live in the green forest, Reddy the Fox was always hungry. Reddy was afraid of old man Coyote, so he couldn't go out hunting at night. Everything would be fine if Granny were here, but unfortunately, two weeks before, she left for distant pastures and is not at home. Therefore, during the safe daylight hours, Reddy would catch grasshoppers and beetles and try to appease his hunger. Hey, Reddy! Well, Sammy, morning! <laughs> Reddy, poor thing, I understand that recently you don't go out hunting at night and that you're always so hungry. Yeah, well, Granny isn't here, you know, and there's so much to be done. Truthfully, isn't it that you're afraid of old man Coyote? No, that, that guy, I'm not a bit afraid of him. Oh, really? That's funny. Then I wonder who it was that hastily fled the moment he ran into old man Coyote. Anyone would run if he bumped into old man Coyote. But isn't it amusing? I sure would like to tell Granny that kind of a story. Sammy, you aren't going to tell Granny, are you? Huh? Oh. Aren't you supposed to report everything that happened during her absence? Uh, mm. Reddy, there's nothing to worry about. If you can't tell her, I'll speak in your stead. Don't worry. Uh, well, it, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll tell her all about it. Well, now, I think I'll pay a little visit to Mr. Brown's house. Uh. Ah! Granny, well, weren't you supposed to be back tomorrow? If you have something to tell me, tell me. Uh. <laughs> it's like this, Granny Fox. The other day they came... You big mouth, Jay! Just you get out of here, huh? Granny? Mm -hmm. This I'd like to hear. What kind of a story is it? Well, Granny, in short... Ah! Actually, during your absence, old man Coyote has come to live in the green meadows. Old Man Coyote, you say? That is correct. Everyone in the forest is afraid of Old Man Coyote, but your grandson, in short, Reddy keeps insisting that he is the only one not afraid of him. However, one particular night, Take care of Coyote, couldn't he? But what if 
He loses, huh? huh? And so be it. Someday we'll get our revenge. I see, Granny. You've got a good head, but how are Prickly and Old Man Coyote going to be convenient and fight each other? That's where my good thinking comes in. I've got a plan. Anyway, wait and see. Well, if it is an old granny. That's mean, calling me old, especially when I consider myself young. <laughs> and Freddy, doesn't Prickly look braver and handsomer than ever? No, he does. That he does. Yes, indeed he does. Oh, oh yeah. Freddy, that story we heard can't possibly be true, especially not about our brave Prickly. Believe it, Mr. Prickly is not that kind of a person. Hey, what's this nonsense all about? Well, oh, I heard please. from Harry that old man Coyote is bragging that everyone, everyone is afraid mm -hmm. of him. Oh, that silly story. No, the problem is after that, Prickly. When old man Coyote was asked if Prickly the porcupine was afraid too, well... Hmm. And what did he say then? Hmm. Then that guy, Old Man Coyote, said, Prickly's afraid and he's a coward and he's always mm -hmm. up a tree. That's what he said. I don't believe that. No. But mm -hmm. others listening may take it for the truth. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but Coyote. Did he say anything else? That mm -hmm. he did. But if I tell you, Mr. Prickly, you'll get angry. That's all right. Tell me anyway. Well, if you really insist... Oh? Huh? That mean old coyote said if he meets that porcupine on the ground, he'll make an evening meal of him. Oh. What are you intending to do? Not a darn thing. I'm going to let that bragging bum see if he can make a meal out of me. I don't think he's around now. Well, where can I find that bum? Well, the story goes that old Mr. Coyote said he was going to catch you when you went for a drink of water at the Laughing Brook. Huh? He said that, eh? Well, I'll wait till then. Mm. Oh, baby, oh, 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 oh. Going off, you say? Yeah, I apologize, especially since you came for a visit, but I have some business to attend to. I'm sorry to hear that. I was so happy to become friends with you. You who must be twice as well informed as anyone. <laughs> this doesn't mean we'll never meet again. I'll be back by evening. <laughs> That's so, isn't it? Well, take care. Thank you. Bye. Happy to meet you, Mr. Coyote. I had heard that you built a home in the Green Meadows, and I wanted to greet you and welcome you. I hope that we can be very good friends. Yeah, uh, it's right. <laughs> As if you cared. In the first place, I wouldn't be friends with you for anything. Ah, uh, what did you say? I was thanking you. I think we can definitely become friends. That is for That's sure. Right. By the way, Mr. Coyote, for someone to be as brave and strong as you are and to be afraid of someone is something I cannot understand. Hmm. <laughs> what nonsense. I'm not afraid of anyone at all. Oh, my then. Was Prickly lying? And who is that one? 
He is a porcupine. According to the rumors, you are terribly afraid of the porcupine. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. he is there, you don't dare enter the green forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where can I meet him? Why, whatever do you intend to do? Naturally, I'm going to beat him up. <gasps> well, if that's the case, you ought to go to the Laughing Brook in the evening. The Laughing Brook, you say? Yes, Prickly should be going for a drink of water. Evening, is it? Can't be helped. I'll just wait. Uh-huh, Granny, you've got a good head. <laughs> <laughs> Between Sammy, the talkative Jay, and Peter the Rabbit, the news that Prickly and Coyote were going to fight spread quickly throughout the green meadows and the green forest. As you know, everyone in the green forest was afraid of Old Man Coyote, so everyone naturally hoped that Prickly would be able to chase Old Man Coyote away. Peter and some of his friends gathered in a clearing in the green forest to talk things over. Gee, I'm worried. Can Prickly win over old man Coyote? Me too. That's what I'm worried about. For sure Prickly is strong, but old man Coyote seems to be strong too. I think old man Coyote is stronger. I wonder. No, no, no one can stand up to old man C -C Coyote. He's got a great head and extraordinarily fast legs. If you want to beat him, you're going to have to prepare it the day early. And you can't let him know about it either. As the time for the eagerly anticipated fight between Prickly the Porcupine and Old Man Coyote drew near, everyone in the forest who could possibly be there was out to see what would happen. Hey, Granny! Prickly and Old Man Coyote are going to start to fight soon! Yeah, everyone's assembled at the Laughing Brook. Ah, progressing very well, but I was the one who manipulated this fight. No one will notice. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. I heard, I heard, I heard. <laughs> Prickly versus Old Man Coyote was Granny's idea. Sounds like something she would do. I must stop the fight. beaten dogs and foxes, so a coyote's gnashing of teeth didn't frighten him in the least. But from Coyote's standpoint, he'd never battled with anybody like Prickly before. He just couldn't figure where to attack. Watch out, watch out. It'll be rather serious if I'm stabbed by those quills in a careless moment. Mm -hmm. If I grab him from the back, I can get him. I can't figure it. Why does he keep running around and around?
Better hurry. Better hurry. Better hurry. Better hurry. Better hurry. Why are they circling like that? I know. Old Man Coyote is circling to try and make Prickly dizzy. Then we should quickly tell him. That's right. That guy, he'll never realize it until he becomes dizzy. But even if we wanted to, there's no way. Hmm, this is very silly. I can't continue doing this all day long. I wonder what sort of plan will Old Man Coyote come up with? There has to be a way of attacking without being pricked by those quills. Billy, what are you impressed with? Well, right now, Prickly can only rely upon his ears, so if no noise is heard, he'll think that everyone has left and he will expose his face, so Coyote thinks. Oh, I see. Well, then, shouldn't we tell Prickly about that right away? Yeah, oh, I'd really like to do that, but after all, to aid Prickly only, that wouldn't be fair. They should settle this themselves. Yeah. about Prickly's tail, but there's no animal more cautious than a coyote. Oh. Mm. Hmm. As long as he's all rolled up, there's nothing to worry about. But until I can figure this out a little more, I better not do anything. Intended to fool me with such a strategy. What a blessing this is. Oh. oh. and there's not a thing Prickly can do about it. Yeah, this is no time to be impressed. On the other hand, if Prickly gets it, I'll never back into him again.
Oh, well, if it isn't the old Mr. Toad. Now, both of you, stop this silly fighting. Just the two of you, stop fighting right away. It's very kind of you, old Mr. Toad, but it's a rule not to interfere in a fight between two fellas. But old Granny Fox has fooled both of you two nitwits. Huh? What's that you're saying? Then that you were going to kick me out of the green forest, that was a lie? Of course not. I only heard that you were going to make an evening meal of me, so there was not much else I could think. That was crazy. Who said such a thing? Prickly <laughs> porcupine, it looks like somehow that we've really been had. It certainly does look that way, doesn't it? You big liar. <gasps> Wait! Old man, it's huh? better to ignore that type of people. Uh, that may be right. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Fox has always thought that she was the smartest one in the whole green forest. But actually, Coyote has been shown smarter than she is. Now that it's been proven, Granny's not as smart as she thinks she is. Maybe she won't brag so much. <laughs> <laughs>